Hope you have a wonderful weekend. For those who are celebrating Easter, I'm wishing you a great Easter, great family time, great time like of inner journey. And uh, here comes my second video. I am so, so thrilled and just I really cherish this opportunity. So as you've seen from the title, today I'm going to talk about waking up. Now, in Ukraine, we have, and in many other like Eastern European countries, we have this phrase, whenever someone wakes up or goes through the day being like grumpy or not really themselves, we say like, you must have woken up stepping on the wrong foot. Meaning you are not really yourself. You must have woken up in the wrong mood. And this is the subject of my video today. I believe, strongly believe that when we wake up, how we wake up, with what kind of mind and kind of set of expectations we come out into the day, it's gonna carry us the whole day through. So this is why it is really, really important to wake up and start your day right. So my tip number one is what thought are you waking up with? I believe that it was Will Smith who said, if every day you wake up with a thought, it's gonna be a beautiful day, it will. So I want to rewind back a little bit though, because what I believe is, what is really important also is what thought you go to bed with. Because that thought carries you through the night, whether you know it or not. And when, when, you, wake, when you wake up, um, you, after practicing it um, for some time, you wake up with that thought. Or even sometimes, if you really register that thought in your mind before you fall asleep, it comes into your mind after a few minutes of waking up and it does make a difference so no matter what day you had no matter how good it was how bad it was how much you've accomplished new day is a new clean slate so when you go to sleep what kind of thought do you want to wake up to do you want to wake up to the thought that it's going to be a wonderful day do you want to wake up to a thought that it's going to be a day filled with gratitude do you want to wake up to a thought that it's going to be a day of presence so when you fall asleep, really start trying to fall asleep with a thought of what is it that you want your day to start with? How is it you want it to be? So that's my tip number one. My second tip is the waking up of your body. The waking up of your body is really important. Um, one thing two things I like to mention is breathing and posture. I remember reading this book called Monarch who sold his Ferrari. It's about this famous lawyer who lost his sense of purpose and who found this beautiful tribe. I think it was in Himalayan mountains and they opened to him these secrets of how to really take control of your physical body and take control of your mind to really be productive, to be happy and to be fulfilled. And one of the things that really struck me because it was so simple yet so important was um, breathing. They say we, in, especially in our society, really do not know how to breathe, breathe correctly. And what it means, we often don't even think about breathing. Breathing deeply and breathing like in the right way really makes a difference it boosts your body with energy the oxygen flows into your mind makes everything clearer so what they suggested is take a couple of minutes not uh, they i don't remember them saying it in the morning but i apply it in the morning because this is a jump start to the whole day and really take a few minutes sit down and that involves your posture because when your posture is wrong your lungs don't have enough space to expand, 
everything starts slowing down in your body especially after you've been sleeping the whole night and you've been still getting the right posture really gives that kick of oxygen into your body into your brain into your blood and gets everything flowing and really fills you with energy so what I would suggest to you, take a couple of minutes, how, however many you can spare or you feel you want to spare, sit upright with the right posture and just breathe. Breathe deeply and slowly and pour that air into your stomach instead of into your lungs and imagine that air flowing right down to your toes, right down to the ends of your fingers and after breathe out you will see a difference just trust me on this one so guys my tip number three is visualizing it is connected to how we start our morning in terms of thinking but taking a step further visualizing in how i practice it is taking a couple of minutes sometimes it can take maybe 10 15 in tough mornings it can take some more extra time and the process I go through is I sit down and I close my eyes and I really see my day through. Very often we know the things that we are going to face throughout the day, the things that we need to do, the things that we want to do and how we want to do them. And what? When you sit down, you close your eyes and you see your day through, you see moments where you might have those um, of your desires challenged. So for example, you wake up some mornings and you think like, yes, I'm ready to nail revision. I'm gonna study super hard. Some mornings you wake up and you're like, revision is the last thing I want to do. I want to escape, I want to have fun, or just I want just to relax. Visualizing really makes you question, why did you start? Why did you start education? Why do you need exams? Why is it important to spend that time on um, uh, revising how do you want to revise how do you want to allocate your time and also see uh, what kind of distractions might happen in your life uh, throughout your day for instance is it someone might ask you to cook at home or someone might ask you we have for example Easter and that involves a lot of cleaning so I am often tempted when my mom's approaches, my mom approaches me and says, Nina, time to clean. And I'm gonna be like, mom, I don't have time. I need to revise. And very often like I waste that time on watching videos or whatever. And visualizing really helps me think and like sit down and be, Nina, you will waste some time. Allocate those hot likes those 15 minutes, that half an hour to your mom, helping your mom and saying thank you to her for cleaning this beautiful house and really making it feel as a home. So also one thing I want to really point out is when you visualize, you need to know that things you don't see, you can't act upon. So if you don't see yourself studying, do really spend extra time conquering those thoughts because very often we are tempted to say I don't have time and uh, very often we want to say oh my gosh I don't have time to sit down and think about my day I actually need to start it but spending those few minutes and really approaching it from your mind does make a difference my tip number four goes back to our physical well-being and it is drinking water it is a very simple tip but super important I was really surprised when on different accounts I heard or read people say the amount of water we need to drink. It goes beyond just one glass, but we really need to drink from one to two liters in the morning in one go. Our body throughout the night um, loses a lot of water and also in the morning through drinking a lot of water you start all the processes in your body you flush out all the toxins and drinking water does make a difference i mean in the amount that i'm suggesting it gives glow to your skin it makes you feel better and it also is really important if you practice exercising in the morning for instance i enjoy running 
or doing yoga for those of you some of you might go to the gym you need those two liters of water but do keep in mind that um, our body is different so listen to your body for some people one liter might feel as super a lot for others uh, two liters might be the right amount so do focus on how you feel but drinking a lot of water does make a lot of difference so try it and if you follow uh, through with it you will see a difference my tip number five is exercising your body's been still for about eight hours on average and it really needs to to move and me why I love yoga is that it allows the gentle waking up of the body yet intense practice with different exercises combined with um, focusing on your breathing which connects me back to my uh, my tip number two uh, where I talk about how important breathing is so it really makes me happy to fill my body and treat it with all the oxygen and all the movement also a great practice is just getting outside get outside and get some fresh air even if it's a five minute walk right now at home i'm having a blast with my dogs some of you might have seen them on my insta uh, they love running and playing and we just run together around my yard and around my house and just the combination of fresh air and the positive um, emotions and because those faces are so cute and they're just so amazing i love them so much and it really makes a difference so if you have uh, the luxury but the thing is we all have we all can find the time when we want to so really try to find time to get out connect with the nature look at the sky even if it is for a few minutes it does make a difference so that's it guys um, those are my several tips on uh, waking up waking up your mind waking up your body and jump starting your day in the right way we need to remember that each day is a gift and as much as we want as much as we desire tomorrow is not promised and remembering that really helps you cherish your day because even if tomorrow is promised it is what you do today that's what makes a difference that's what allows you to take a step further step closer to the person you want to be to the life you want to have to the things you want to achieve and the transformations you want to see in your life so i really hope you follow through on these tips if you have any more suggestions any comments please comment down below if you have um, some practices that maybe nobody knows or you found out that surprised you really tell me i would really want to know i love trying new things especially when it comes to improving my life and job starting my morning i hope you all have a wonderful week and that um, you achieve everything you want and that you have fulfilled days and you make the best of your days every single day love you